Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a giant squid, a uh, monster in its own right. Uh, kind of more like a mythical giant squid, although I think they found real giant squid before, so I think that was something that was fiction and now it's real. Um, but yeah, so let's let's get started over here. First thing I'm going to do is... Oh, by the way, this is going to be for beginners, easy, okay? So if you're a beginner, you'll definitely be able to do this, all right? So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to go and draw a curve line here for kind of the eye area. Or the eye. Curve underneath. Circle. Then we're gonna fill that in. A curve line here for kind of the body portion of the squid. Line over here on this side. Pulling a line in there. Let's kind of start over here on this far end of the of the squid. Curve on this side here. line over here line over here so kind of that top of the head of the squid and we're gonna have like long right there kind of the top of the head down over here it's got like an arrow for the very top of his head line over here we're gonna go up pulling down curve up so he's got that long arrow for like a head right there and then that's going to come down here in line here up. Going to go over here. And we're going to go into one of its uh, one of his legs, right? One of the eight legs. <sighs> and you can draw each leg independently and then thicken it out. So right here, let's draw another one. Over here, let's draw over here. Draw over here. Over here. We don't have to draw like eight or anything. You can just draw some. To kind of just like a few, right? At least more than five for five and up. All right. And I'm going to. find the thickness of it. So right there, I'm trying to follow this. Right there. Go over here on this side. Curve. So we're finding, so for every line I put out, now I'm gonna find you know the, the thickness of the tentacle. And then I'm gonna throw a thinner line on there because one side of it has a different, a different color. Over here is on this side as well. Over here down. Right there, see we're finding just kind of the thickness in all these lines that we created, right? That's kind of the whole, that's the easy way to do it, I think. And we could pull it, like we can merge that there. And we can find some extra stuff, right? Maybe over here we can draw one that's like in the distance there, that kind of went through that. You usually have like two of them with these extra like pads on them on the edge uh, then maybe let, let's say there's one over here let's say and this is gonna have an extra pad on there right here
curve underneath. Draw like a line there for just kind of just some dimension. Sometimes it's better to kind of do that. Draw a line right here around the eye, right there. Like it's got like, because it's, it's an organic creature, right? To make it, you could even draw like the, a little bit of the far side eye peeking out from the far end. And then you can draw like circle, like like bubbles to make it look like, hey, you know, he's underwater. Circle, circle on that, like these little highlights. Maybe just kind of make them a little bit smaller at the top. Maybe three really, really micro microscopic ones to really make it look like, um, you know, the squid's totally underwater. <laughs> That's it. That's a giant squid. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Hit that like. Um, I'm going to be posting throughout the year. Suggest something scary because that's really going to help the channel out. And also, hit the subscribe, like I said, also. But also, I want you to say hi to me if you can hear my voice right now. If you can hear my voice, say hi, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Talk to you very, very soon, and I will see you later. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely like all around like they're serious about it if that's you go here um, like I said there's programs here on even some of the same material like I said it's just a lot more in depth my eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube which is like 10 minutes right you can still learn from both but like I said if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life go here um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent. And you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later. And uh, hopefully I'll, see, I'll catch you over there later.